Hello everyone, today we will learn how to create a Wix product from a new Google Sheet row. So if you are using Google Sheet to collect all your data, then you can actually create a product in your Wix application using the data that you have collected in your Google Sheet. You can create this automation with the help of Pabli Connect, where our trigger will be the new row added in Google Sheet and our action will be the newly created product in Wix. So we will be creating the integration between these two applications. Let us learn how to do that. So in this video, we will learn how to create a Wix product from a new Google Sheet row. So I have prepared my Google Sheet like you can see the name of the product, the price, the stock unit and the description of the product. Also, I have mentioned the weight as well. So here is my Wix website and now I will be creating an automation with the help of Pabli. Let us quickly sign in into our account so that I will reach this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli. We are going to use Pabli Connect to create the automation. Click on access now. That will take you to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here, you will see a big blue button on your right side where it's written create workflow. Click on the button, give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as create a Wix product from content in Google Sheets. Click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you like you will see on your screen. We will have two windows, trigger and action. Now the trigger says when this happens an action says do this. Before we understand the working of the trigger and action window, make sure that you have opened your Google Sheet and your website of Wix in a separate tab. Now let us understand the functioning of these two options. Trigger is when this happens. So here we will enter the application, the first application where the event will take place, which will trigger this workflow and then the action application will perform the assigned action. So our trigger application is Google Sheets because the content that will be used to create a product in Wix will be taken from Google Sheets and the event is going to be new or updated spreadsheet. So now Pabli Connect provides us with a webhook URL which we are going to use to connect Pabli Connect and Google Sheet in such a way that every new data added over here will be fetched to Pabli Connect as a response that it will be capturing. So let us learn how to use the webhook URL. Since we have already entered the data, go to extensions in the menu and go to add-ons and get add-ons. We need to add an add-on over here which will help us use the webhook URL. So in this search app section, you have to type Pabli Connect Webhooks and install this add-on over here. I have already installed it in my system, so I don't need to install it again. Once you're done with the installation, go back to extensions and it will be visible over here. Now, once you select this, go to initial setup and enter the webhook URL and the trigger column over here. So the webhook URL you're going to take from this, copy it from the workflow and as soon as you copy it, it will start waiting for a webhook response. So let us paste it right here. And the trigger column is the last updated column. We have five columns filled, which means that we have our trigger column as E. Submit. So now these details have been submitted and now we will click on send test. So the data that has already been entered will be sent to Pabli Connect as a response. You will see the response will appear right here. It's here. The weight of the product, the stock unit, the name of the sheet, the name of the spreadsheet, and then we have the price and the name of the product with the description. So we have all the details that we have entered over here along with the description of the name of the sheet and the sheet name as well. One more thing that is left is go to extensions again, Pabli Connect Webhooks, and now you have to select send on event. By ticking on this one, it will make sure that every time a new data is entered over here, the last updated column is filled and then the spreadsheet will send the data to Pabli Connect like this. Now let us close our trigger window and move on to our Wix application that is our action application. So choose over here Wix and the action event is going to be create a product. Click on connect. Now you have to connect your action application and your Pabli Connect. Click on add new connection and connect with Wix. Now you are going to need the app ID and the secret ID of your Wix application. So no need to go anywhere. Firstly, you have to create a Wix developer app and then you will get these details from there. So go to here and it will take you to the forum page of Pabli. Over here, it will give you all the details and instructions. How can you get the app ID and the secret ID? First, you have to create a Wix developer app that you can create by clicking on this link. Once you click on this link, it will take you to this developers page. Go to my apps and then you will have all the applications that have been created earlier by me or you will have your applications. Click on new create new app from your right top corner and then 
you will reach this place where you will be able to see the newly created application. Now you, you can rename it. This is the default name. I'm going to name it as my new app one. Once this is done, click somewhere else and it will save the name of your newly created app. You can follow the instructions that are given over here. When once you have given the name to your new app, go to OAuth in the left menu and then you can find the app ID and app secret ID. So over here, go to OAuth over here in the left menu and you will have the app ID and app secret key. So wh what you can do is copy it from here and paste it in your Pabli Connect workflow. Make it visible so it will be easy for you to copy it. And here we have the secret ID. Now before you click on save, make sure that you have given certain permissions for that. You have to enter the redirect URL and give an app URL for your application. So in the case of e redirect URL, you have to copy this URL, copy link address and paste it right here. Once this is done, you have to give an app URL. So type over here this part and then give any random name that you think you can give to your application. I'm going to give it as and this is the app URL that I have given to my app. So it's set. Now the save option is visible to you. So click on save. And your changes have been successfully saved. After this, you have to give permissions. So here you can see in your forum page that when you give permissions, you have to choose the permission which you need for your specific action event. Our action event over here is to create product. So let us choose the permissions that are needed for product. What are needed? We need coupons, we need stores, and we need the developers as well. So the permission for developers has already been provided. Click on add permission, click on coupons, and then manage coupons. Save this permission, then add more permissions if you need them. Go to this and then store permission you need. So here we have the inventory. Click on save. And also you can check for the contacts and members. So you can give permission for that as well. We have the contact and members, and we are going to give them all the permissions by clicking on manage member and contacts. Click on save and therefore you've given all the permissions right here. Now once you're done with this, go back to Pabli Connect and now you can save. Then it will ask you to agree to the details that are given over here and add to your website. Like you can see on your screen to manage members and contacts, coupons, products and read the basic site and business info. Now reading after this, click on agree and add and your connection is done. Now, since the both of them are connected, we will be entering some of the details of the product that you are going to create in your Wix application. Over here, you have to enter the product name. So all of these details we will be taking from the Google Sheet response that we have received in our trigger application. So let us choose it from the data given to us from the previous step. Open this drop down menu. And what was the name of the product? It was glass bowls set of four. Then we have the product price. So you can take the price from here. This was the price. The stock unit. So how many were there in our stock? There were 15 in our stock. What was the description? The description can also be taken from here. It is durable and transparent. Any variant? No. Product type is physical. Visibility is true. And then we will have the weight also. So you can find a yeah product weight also we need to enter. So what was the weight? This was the weight. Now enter the weight in this format only. No need to write kg after that. It is already taken up in kg only. Everything else is done. There is no other thing that is left for me to fill in the detail. So I will just click on save and send test request. And here we have the response which says the product ID, the product name, the visibility, the description and all the details have been given over here, which means that the product has been created. So now let us quickly close this window and go to our Wix application to check that have we created a product or not. Go to the store product option on your left side menu, go to products and here you will be having the list of all the details that have been created. Glass bowl set of four has been created. It's physical, the price is here, it's in the inventory, in stock because we have entered the stock unit as well, which means that our product has been created and our workflow has been a great success. So here we will be having trigger and action application. The trigger will be Google Sheets that we will be taking from our Google Sheet that we have created. Now every time you enter a new content over here, it will be used to create a new product in your Wix account. This was the whole video. I hope this helped.
not just these applications, but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.